Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Cindy. I'm a professional astrologer and teacher, and today I'm going to talk about Venus and the symbolism related to Venus. I'm not talking about love, light, beauty, and harmony today. I'm talking about the symbolism of Venus and what this planet represents when we look at Venus place in our solar system. This might be something you have never thought about, and I'm very excited to teach you something about it today. So I have taken two slides from my five weeks Venus star course to talk about Venus symbolism and also about the formation of the cosmic pentagram. So let's get into it. Let's start with the great light, the sun. The sun represents the spirit, consciousness, and also the ego. On the other side, we have the earth, which represents the physical plane, and we, through our bodies, are part of it. The next celestial body to the sun is Mercury. So it is very hard to understand pure consciousness and spirit. Mercury is like the next level towards earth, towards understanding. So Mercury is about our mind, thoughts, how we conceptualize things. So Mercury is still in the mind. It's not physical representation, but it is the next step from spirit, so to speak. Now think about what is the next celestial body close to Earth. It's the moon. And the moon is also in a way represent, representing physical uh, reality. It represents the body, but it is not per se a representation of the physical realm. The moon is more about emotions, about nurture, and you could say that it is already a step away from the physical towards the spirit. Now think about what planet travels in between Sun, Mercury, and Earth, Moon. It's Venus. And I have been come to understand Venus as kind of bridge in between the pairs of Sun, Mercury, and Earth, Moon. So in a way, Venus is like a channel, like a transmitter or a gateway. You might know this quote from the Emerald Tablet, the Tabula Smaragdina. I have taken one English translation, uh, the one from Isaac Newton. There are several translations. I will read this one. That which is below is like that which is above. And that which is above is like that which is below, to do the miracle of one only thing. Mostly people remember the axiom as above, so below. But they don't know or don't think about that it actually goes on as below, so above. So the spirit having an effect on the physical world is only one side of the coin. The other side is that what happens in the physical plane here on planet Earth has also an impact on the invisible world. And how is this possible? How do we understand this? I believe it's related to Venus. All planets in the solar system have their meaning, their symbolism, and all planets have a so-called spiritual side, spiritual side to them. But oftentimes with Venus, you will only hear about physical pleasures, desire, and all these beauty and harmony things that you might sometimes think about as superficial. But that's not what Venus is about. If you look at the glyphs of Sun, Venus, and Earth, you can also use these as a tool of meditation and understanding what those planets represent. So let's look at the cliff for the sun. It's a circle with a dot, the symbol for spirit. The cliff for planet Earth is also a circle, but with a cross inside. It is like the dot from the sun symbol has expanded in four directions. 
it is spirit manifest. Now, if you look at the glyph for Venus, it is also a circle and a cross, but it is not the cross in the circle. It is a circle and a cross. It is spirit and the physical realm. And some of you might already see that the glyph for Venus looks like an Ankh. And the Ankh looks like a human with head and hands standing on the crown. So the spirit manifests through a bridge, through a gateway. Let's get to the next slide. In this slide, you see a circle, which represents the zodiac with its 12 signs. And as seen from planet Earth, at some point in time, Venus and Sun will conjoin. And from this point in the zodiac, 1.6 years or 584 days ahead in zodiacal order, which is anti-clockwise, they will again join in the same phase as Venus was previously. So from this point, let's say from point one, Venus was in an interior conjunction after which she rises the morning star. From this point, 584 days ahead, Sun and Venus will conjoin on point two. Again, Venus will rise as the morning star. And from this point, again, one full round around the zodiac and then again point six they will conjoin again venus again will rise up as the morning star after this conjunction and then it's again 580 40 days and venus and sun will again conjoin and from this point again 1.6 years and there is another venus sun conjunction now if you connect the dots the conjunctions of Venus and the Sun in order of their appearance. You go from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, from 4 to 5, and from 5 to 1 back. You get a pentagram. And it takes 8 years to form this cosmic pentagram. And it happens all over again and again and again. So Venus and the Sun, in alignment with the Earth, will create this pentagram. And there is a lot of more things to say about uh, how this pentagram is created and what happens in between those con conjunctions and the symbolism. But now, if you remember from slide one, where Venus is located and that Venus is the bridge, and that it is all about the spirit wanting to manifest itself on planet Earth, then you understand the symbolism and the importance of Venus. And we are part of this physical reality through our bodies. And now if you look at your birth chart, there is actually a five-pointed star in your birth chart and five of these Venus-Sun conjunctions. So one point is the most important point on the Venus star. It's your so-called Venus star point, the head of the five-pointed star in your birth chart. And it represents your creative energy, your motivating life principle. So it is created by Venus Sun con by a Venus-Sun conjunction. And it is representing the seed of your creativity, of what spirit gave you actually what you are here to share with the world. There's a lot to, to talk about that and, and how it actually, um, how you actually interpret this point in your birth chart. But I just wanted to quickly show you how uh, Venus is operating within the solar system and what the Venus Sun conjunctions actually are. So I'm going to stop screen share. So yeah, that was my short presentation today. I hope I could uh, spark your interest in studying Venus further away from love, light and beauty, but really going deep into the 
understanding the mysteries of Venus. There's a lot to uncover. That's all for today. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead and see you next time. Bye-bye.